Bonjour, je suis Paco Plaza, je suis un des réalisateurs du film REC. Je vais vous raconter des petites histoires sur le tournage du film. Jaume et moi sommes très amis et à ce moment-là, nous avons tous vécu à Barcelone, donc nous avons vu l'un de l'autre tout le temps. Nous étions tous dans le moment de essayer de get a new film financed. So we said, how can we do the cheapest film? Okay, we have to shoot him with a domestic video camera, unknown actors. It's going to look really cheap. It's going to look like a TV reality show. And we said, okay, that's it. Let's do a reality show in which there are zombies involved. The shooting was, I think, 16 days. The crew is the smallest crew I've ever had. There were no place to hide them <laughs> because the camera was going to be all over and there were so few lights involved. If in La Hueda we were like 50 or 55 people, I think, maybe in Rec it was like 20 something. It wasn't all improvised. It was a script that we could transform day by day and adapt to the actors, to the relationships they built. I've never done a, a film like that, so alive and so full of uh, energy. We wanted the actors to leave the action in the same order that it was going to be shown to the audience. It was very helpful because every morning we could see the film. It helped us reacting to the material, like saying, the scene yesterday, I think it, it's not scary. We need to do something today that is going to... There were things that should be very controlled, like everything involving special makeups and that kind of thing that you can't improvise. The fact of being two directors was very, very helpful because sometimes when there was a scene, I talked to an actor and Jauma talked to another and we didn't say the same thing. For instance, I said to the policeman, you're not going to tolerate that she touches you. You know, you are authority. And Jaume said to Manuela, you have to push him. But he didn't know she was going to push him. So when she pushes him, his reaction is real. It's like, I don't know what to do. What we said to the actors was like, we're not going to cut, ever. If you fall, stand up. There's no such thing as a mistake in this film. No? And for instance, one, one of the moments I love the most is the first time they enter the first apartment and there is a very long corridor and the camera really hits something. The actors turn like really scared, but they, they know we were not going to cut. It's like, and the actor said, please, please. <laughs> you know, all those reactions are, are real and that's, a, that's really interesting. It's a real building. We shot with a Panasonic camera this size. <laughs> and the last part, we shot it with a domestic video camera. We wanted to shoot in real darkness, pitch black. And Manuela only saw through the viewfinder and Jaume and I were hidden behind some table or something, throwing things and making sounds. It was really fun. I remember when we went to the United States because they were talking about the remake and that kind of thing. Everyone asked if it was CGI involved. I said, it's not a creature, it's, it's a guy, he's our friend. <laughs> Just with makeup, but that's his body. They selected the film in Venice and we said, well, it's strange, but okay. And then the first reviews were very bad. But, you know, those reviews were from people going to a press uh, screening. And it's a very different thing. When we went to the night premiere with real audience and we saw them jump and scream, we said, okay, it really works. In Spain, it worked uh, amazing. And people kept asking, why don't you make a sequel? Why don't you make a sequel? It was just the reaction of the audience that made us think, okay, let's do another one. But the second was still a success. So same thing happened. And they say, no, we can make a deal to make two more sequels. And it was like, no, no, no. After thinking about it, we said, okay, let's do, you do one and I will do the other one. And I had the idea to make a, a wedding video. And Jauma wanted to make a sequel that was not found footage. And I began to fantasize about the idea of a wedding video that evolved to a conventional uh, film. And it's a film I really love because it's so not what you expect it to be. And in a way, I think both Jauma and I 
felt like we had a, a creature that was part of him, part of me. And I think we both wanted the opportunity to play ourselves with the franchise, you know. So it was, it was really fun to do it. Yeah.